Hello friends, welcome back. I'm JC and this is Grace Overflowing. Today I want to pick up with part two of the three-part series I'm doing on what I believe the Lord has been sharing with me and showing me over the last few months specifically. The last video I shared was related to, um, I believe the Lord is giving us all a big wake-up call. I believe he gave me a wake-up call. Um, and I believe some of these dreams that I've had have been um, not only for him to do that in me, but also through you guys. And so I hope that was an encouragement. Um, but I've had a lot of time to process all of this. But when I first started um, having these experiences, you know, it took me some time, obviously, because some of these experiences were so unbelievable, even though I had seen the hand of the Lord work in such mighty ways in my life. I've, I had not had um, dreams that shook me, such vivid like dreams where I thought that I was awake, having these encounters with what seemed to be really, you know, the Lord um, in my bedroom. And so um, I had done a lot of praying and reflecting and seeking the Lord and asking Him, you know, why? Why are you showing me this? What does all this mean? Trying to really get to the bottom of it, figure out like, why now? Are you working in my life like this? I mean, it was wonderful, no doubt, but um, it consumed my mind. I mean, it was just so miraculous and um, rattling at the same time. So um, this second part is related to the rapture. It's related to what I believe the Lord has spoken to me about the rapture and has been since this point. But this was really the point where I um, feel like he opened my eyes to it. I had said in a previous video that um, by and large, I didn't really think about rapture too much, but in the past I had been more inclined to think that it would be kind of that um, post-tribulation rapture, um, possibly mid-trib, but I didn't believe in a pre-tribulation rapture at that time at all. Since then, the Lord has um, moved heaven and earth. He's given me a lot of signs. He's shown me that I believe that there is, in fact, a, a pre-tribulation rapture. And um, this experience that I had with him kind of started that ball rolling. So all summer long, I had been taking walks with my family, and we have been picking up feathers this past summer. Um, of all the feathers we collected, we had tons and tons and tons of blue jay feathers. Unreal amounts of blue jay feathers um, in relation to everything else that we had. I mean, just maybe two cardinal feathers, um, you know, uh, a raven feather, you know, but by and large, you know, even more than the common brown and white, you know, ordinary, you know, I don't know what they really are, but kind of the plain Jane feathers. Like we found an abundance of, 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 of blue jay feathers. So I say this because the Lord um, knows that birds are very important to me. They've always been special to my heart and the Lord has spoken to me through birds before, believe it or not. But anyway, I had been feeling um, that the Lord was calling me out on a walk and I was still trying to work through some of these experiences that I had had with him, really praying hard, really asking for revelation, really asking for clarification. And um, I was by myself on this particular walk. And I happened upon a blue jay feather. And I picked it up and um, just still praying, um, not really paying too much attention to that. And as I did my normal routine, my walk through the neighborhood, I. I came around a corner and I am basically in front of um, a house that I'd walked by hundreds and hundreds of times before. She had um, a little yard art um, globe that is kind of a circular glass um, piece on an iron stick and it's just kind of sticking into the ground and it's decorative. So I happened to look over at this um, uh, piece of artwork and in my spirit I heard leave it there meaning the feather like I felt like the Holy Spirit was telling me to deposit this blue jay feather 
on this blue orb that happened to have a little um, base at the end of it. So it was a metal base that it sat on, almost like what a teacup sitting on it on a on a tea saucer. So I just thought that was really strange, like why the Lord would tell me to do that. But I heard it, and I have been really at that point, especially trying to honor. The voice is the still small voice, and when it tells me to do something, I was like, "Okay, Lord, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna leave it. I'm just gonna place it on that little ledge." As soon as I got over there and I saw it and I laid it down, I noticed something through the glass, and so I'm peering inside of it, trying to see. I couldn't see well, but I could see something was going on in there. So I went around to the back and it um, was clear on the back. Now this wasn't fully globe, it was more of a um, upside down tear shaped. And so there was metal on the side of it, on the front of it was like a blue art glass, and on the back of it was just clear glass. Only there was a cut out at the very top of it. I'm not sure if that was for cleaning or what. But when I walked around the art piece and I looked to see what it was I was seeing through it, what I saw, friends, it just took my breath away. I mean, I gasped. It was a little dead bird that had gotten in there and couldn't get out, and it was just laying there. And so instantly, I knew that the Lord was trying to tell me something. What he was trying to tell me, I did not know. But I just start praying very seriously in that moment, like looking up, asking him, you know, my neighbors, probably thought that, you know, I was just having a full-on conversation with an earbud, but I was just really calling out to him as to why he wanted me to see that, why he wanted me to leave this feather, what it was all about. So I finally just continue on my way. I'm pr still praying. I'm still thinking. I'm just, you know, my mind is just spinning. And just as I was about to get on the home stretch home, I happened to see another blue jay feather laying there on the ground. And um, what was interesting is the feather that I had picked up first was dingy. You know, I mean, we uh, being real feather connoisseurs, like we would grade our feathers. So, you know, um, that feather, would, the first feather was like, you know, a six or a seven, you know, this was just a 10. I mean, it was just in mint condition. It was beautiful. Um, it was a perfect feather. And so, I obviously was like, well, at least I'm not going to show up to my daughter empty-handed because she would always ask, what did you find? What did you pick up? You know, um, so I, I picked it up and the minute I picked up the feather, I heard in my spirit, I left one and I took one. And I was like, I left one and I took one. And I'm still praying and I'm still thinking, I'm like, what does that really mean? I mean, obviously he was talking about the feathers. Um, so I just have this energy building up in my heart, like, you know, what was he really talking about? You know, I mean, it did occur to me quite possibly that what he was talking about was, was a rapture element, you know, that while this bird was dead, in this blue globe looking thing that, you know, could potentially symbolize, you know, our world. Um, you know, I, I, I left one and I took one. So I'm walking on just still very confused, but feeling like um, an urgency, like a flutter inside, like, um, like I'm on the verge of some major revelation that the Lord is really revealing something to me specifically. And that's when I knew in my heart, the bluebird, was the answer. Somehow, some way, whatever all of this meant, I knew that the Lord was going to reveal it to me through the bluebird. So I um, ran home and I went straight to my phone and I started looking up bluebird in the Bible verses. And here's the thing. There really isn't bluebird in any of the Bible verses. I mean, birds are referenced a lot. They are referenced mostly by species. So in that sense, they are. But there was one very specific and literal usage of the word bluebird. And it can be found in the message, which obviously isn't a, tr a translation. It is more of a paraphrase, but nonetheless, the Lord uses all things. He can speak through all things. And no doubt, I believe that he spoke to me 
through the message this day. Um, so what it says is, I would like to read it. It's from Jeremiah 8-7. Now, one thing I want to say before I um, read this verse is that <laughs> this happened on 8-7. On 8 7 20, I had this revelation that referenced Jeremiah 8 7. And this is what it says Cranes know when it's time to move south for winter, and robins, warblers, and bluebirds know when it's time to come back again. I sat there reading this over and over and over again. And I knew in my spirit, I knew in my heart that the Lord was speaking to me, that this experience, I left one, I took one, was him speaking to me about the coming rapture and the symbol of the dead bird and the blue um, orb art glass was a symbol of what was to come on the earth. And I was truly truly astounded when I realize this. What it really speaks to is migration. That even birds know when it's time to leave. You know, salmon swim upstream when it's time. So the animals, even the little animals, you know, creatures that God made have an instinct and they know when it's time. And so all that the Lord had been giving me up to that point, all that the Lord had been pouring in, these supernatural experiences, these dreams that have just been keeping me up at night, you know, um, making it so hard for me to even live my life in the normal sense. Like all of a sudden the Lord had been showing me that, hey, you know what? this is not normal, you know, anymore. And I just felt all of a sudden through these experiences that I couldn't even connect with what normal used to be. And so, you know, my question was, why? Why is this happening all of a sudden? And I believe it's because the Lord is telling me it's because now is the time. It is the time. It is the season. Even the bluebirds know know what I'm trying to tell you, know what I'm trying to confirm to you, know why I'm shaking you, you know, um, and giving you these wake up calls because it's so important to right now cling to him, cling to his word, seek him, repent of um, your fleshliness, you know, get on um, board with whatever the Lord has for you. You know, as I told you in my last video, um, I was a bit of a Jonah. I was doing my own thing. I just wanted to paint some pretty pictures and golly, isn't that nice and pretty and easy and all that. Um, and the Lord has something different for me. And like I said, that's why I'm here. So I just think that the stakes have changed. You know, the timing is, it's different. You know, the timing is late and the harvest is great, but the workers are few. And so that's what the Lord has been stirring up in my spirit. That's what the Lord spoke to me about the rapture. And um, actually, I had an experience right after this prayer walk that I've already put on my um, YouTube page. I will link it below in case you are interested in seeing because I specifically, it was sort of the follow-up to this moment, you know, like confirming, like, you know, kind of that, really, God, rapture? Really? Really? So he gave me another supernatural experience. If you haven't already watched that, I encourage you to do so. But otherwise, I, I hope this encouraged you, my friends. Um, I know that if you're like me, you're looking, um, you're watching as scripture tells us to do, and you know, you know what time it is. So just, um, you know, keep doing what you're doing. Keep seeking the Lord and keep following after him in all your ways. And um, I believe we will be seeing him in the clouds very soon. In fact, I uh, really wasn't planning on saying this, but um, uh, last night, actually even, I had a dream of a bride who was wearing a wedding dress that was um, cloud material, meaning it was blue and white and the print looked like clouds. That was a message that was very specific for me, so I don't know that I will share about it on the channel, but it definitely spoke to rapture. 
I believe we are so close, guys. So keep looking up. In the meantime, may the Lord bless you and guide you and fill you with his perfect grace overflowing.